Join us now for a moment of faith with Dr. Joe Arthur, pastor of the Harvest Baptist Tabernacle in Jonesboro, Georgia. This is an internet broadcast that will air daily at 12.30 p.m. and will remain on our Harvest Facebook page for you to view at any time. This broadcast is to uplift God's children and to remind us all that faith is the victory that overcometh the world. Now here's our pastor with a moment of faith, Dr. Joe Arthur. And greetings today to all of our listening friends, and we're so glad to have you with us this week on another week of broadcasting the Moments of Faith, and I appreciate the opportunity to come to your place of listening uh, for what I call our midday matinee, and we're just honored that you would come by today, and let's put our feet under the table of God and build upon our faith and see what God is able to do and your life and mine in a moment of faith. Well, happy Memorial Day, everyone. And I trust that you are celebrating this day in a way that honors our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and our forefathers who gave it all that we might live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. This is a day where we stop to remember to pay special uh, allegiance to the men and women and in the branches of our military that have given their life, paid the ultimate sacrifice that we may live in a free country. And, and Brother Shane, I got to thinking the other day, talking to Mrs. Arthur, what a wonderful country. I mean, I, I'm telling you, listen to Brother Joe, in this country, if you will get an education, work hard, make wise choices, you can be anything you want to be. And, 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 on, and on the basis of getting an education, there is no excuse in America now uh, for not getting an education. From K-4 to a four-year college degree, now, I'm not talking about med school. I'm not talking about law school. But, but I mean, from K-4 to the, to the 12th grade of high school and four years of college, a Bachelor of Arts degree, it is possible to go that long totally free outside of clothes and books, materials. And, and, and this is what a great country it is. It's such a great country. Uh, we, we have made education so accessible from, from the time you start to the time you graduate high school, we will pick you up pretty close to your front door and haul you back and forth. If you can't afford it, they'll even feed you while you're there. Ain't this a wonderful country? And, and, and you can get an education. And then through the programs in different states, uh, we have one here called the Hope Scholarship. Uh, you can get four years of college, tuition free, and uh, or, 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 the, or the bill deducted a great amount. And I'm just simply saying, in th this country, uh, people can come here. Brother Shane, this, this blows my mind. This is how wonderful America is. People can come here. People can migrate here with not a dime in their pocket and one day own their own home, their own business, uh, have plenty of money. And I'm just telling you, it is a wonderful, wonderful country. And let me say this to uh, any elected official that might be just stopping by this program. I'm sure it's not many, but... Just say an elected official stops by this program today. I want to say a couple of things to you. Number one, the country that you're running, the country that you've been elected to lead, uh, is a wonderful place. And if you don't love it, and if you don't believe in it, then you don't need to lead it. If you've been elected 
to, to do a job for this country, if this country is all that rotten and bad, then you need to step down, move over, and let somebody else take your position who's proud to serve the nation in which you've been elected. And, and, and on the heels of that, I want to say, if America is all that rotten and all that bad and, and all that terrible, brother, there's plenty of places to go live. And hopefully soon the restrictions will be lifted. Uh, why, you could move to uh, Libya, uh, Afghanistan, uh, Iran, Iraq, North Korea, uh, China. Uh, I mean, you know, if America's all that bad, that, then go live where you can be proud to live there. I want to tell you something. America's been good to me. I've walked on her earth. I've ate her food. I've enjoyed the bounty of her land. Her freedom has been absolutely wonderful to me. Uh, there, a nation is like a family, a church, a business, a home, a preacher, or an individual. Uh, there are no perfect nations. There are no perfect families. There's flaws in all of us. But I'm telling you the principles on which this nation was founded and the American dream and the idea that if you'll get an education, make wise choices, behave yourself, you can be anything you want to be. And then, Brother Shane, throw God in with that. Old-time salvation into that. And uh, I've praised the Lord for the freedoms that we have. Uh, I think back during this per pandemic, this coronavirus, Brother Shane, I think we got a glimpse of what it could be, just a small glimpse of, of what it could be like to lose our religious liberties and lose our religious freedom. One of our members said to me, about eight weeks into the shutdown last year, I will never take going to church for granted again. And, of course, you know, there are some people that haven't been back to church. and They go to Walmart and Home Depot and everywhere else. But uh, thank God for this country. And, ladies and gentlemen, it did, it, it's not free. It's not free. It cost another generation their life, their choice, and their blood. And I trust today that you will remember that freedom comes with a price tag. And may we always have in our nation the land of the free, the home of the brave, the freedom to, to work, the freedom to make money, the freedom to raise a family, the freedom to go to church, the freedom to exercise boldly, publicly, verbally our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, this word memorial uh, is mentioned three uh, distinct places in the scripture. And that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to look at some uh, things to be remembered. But three times the word memorial is mentioned in the scripture. It's mentioned in Exodus chapter 12 and verse 14, where Moses said to the children of Israel that the blood shall be a memorial for you. He said it shall be a memorial for you to keep as an ordinance forever and ever. Then in Joshua chapter number 4 verse number 7 when they crossed the Jordan Joshua set up those 12 stones that represent the 12 tribes of Israel and he said these stones will be a memorial for you and your children and your children's children and when they say what mean these stones and you rehearse in their ears the good things that God has done. And then thousands of years later, in Matthew chapter number 26, and verse 13, when Mary uh, break the alabaster box at the feet of Jesus, and the room was filled with the odor, Jesus said, what she's done will be a memorial unto her. In other words, every time you hear her name, She'll be associated with this wonderful act of love and worship that she placed upon her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I've outlined it something like this, and, and Wednesday and Friday we'll get into it. But in Exodus 12, the memorial 
something to be remembered, the blood that was shed. Joshua chapter 4, verse number 7, the memorial, something to be remembered, the boulders, the stones that were set. And then in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 13, the box that was shattered. Ain't that good, Brother Shane? The blood that was shed, the boulders that were set, and the box that was shattered. It's something to be remembered. And ladies and gentlemen, as the generation before us left behind a work to be remembered, may we make such an impact on our world as we pass through our sojourn that will do something for God that will be a memorial for the glory and honor of our Savior, Jesus Christ. So, this special day, let's thank God for America. Let's thank God for our nation. Let's thank God for our salvation and our faith and our families. But let's thank our veterans. Let's thank those and that, that's, that statement was on my mind all day yesterday, Brother Shane. Uh, all gave some, but some gave all. God bless you. We love you. We're looking forward to seeing what God's going to do this week. And your life and mine in a moment of faith.